My name is Kayla G, and what you just observed was a Tasmanian devil with the life-threatening disease DOTD, better known as devil facial tumour disease. The Tasmanian devil, or Sacrophilus hausii, are found on the Australian island of Tasmania and are at risk of extinction. Tasmanian devils develop this disease while spotting during social interactions, particularly prevalent during the mating season. Since its appearance in 1996, it has had devastating effects on the devils, decreasing the population by 90% in the worst affected areas. Without immediate action, it is estimated that in 20 to 30 years, the devils will face extinction. The article, Genetic Diversity and Population Structure of Tasmanian Devils by Webb Miller and Vanessa M. Hayes will be discussed, outlining the strategies that have been implemented in an attempt to save the Tasmanian devils. The aim of this particular experiment was to acquire two Tasmanian devils, both from different locations of Tasmania, in order to collect data and study their genetic information. This has also been investigated in depth in an extended research conducted by A.M. Pierce and K. Swift based on Tasmanian devil chromosome rearrangement. Following the collaboration of this data, a decision based on the health of the Tasmanian devils will determine whether or not they require relocation to a safer environment where exposure to the disease is less likely. The nuclear genetics responsible for the coding of immune responses was studied in two Tasmanian devils, Spirit, a four-year-old captured in southeast Tasmania that was suffering from the disease, and Cedric, a four-year-old born in captivity. As shown in this map, it indicates the location of two Tasmanian devils that were used throughout the study, displaying four major individual populations of specific Tasmanian devil species with varying DNA sequencing. This map was constructed for the purpose of determining the variation of different Tasmanian devils in certain areas and determined the maximal geographical spread area. There is also a fifth mining group that was identified in a single offshore captive breeding population however, only evident in small numbers throughout Tasmania. Furthermore, a similar map was created for the purpose of indicating specific collection sites of the Tasmanian devils. The variation in colour represents the areas classified as safe zones. Here, the devils will be collected and placed in a captive breeding program where the disease is no longer a concern. The brown zone in the southern area is where DFTD is most common and therefore is not an ideal location for devil selection. A study by Miller and Hayes in relation to cloning and sequencing of antigens has confirmed that one major contributing factor to the spread of this disease is low genetic diversity amongst the devils. Unlike other animals, the Tasmanian devil, as a result of inbreeding, have similar immune systems, causing a loss of resistance to the disease. In conclusion, these strategies that the article has evaluated will be instrumental in the protection of the Tasmanian devil by decreasing the percentage of disease cases in Tasmania and assisting the devil community to continue to grow well into the future.